What's up, YouTube? Farmer Son prepping here. Uh, it's a sprinkling. There's a plane going over. We're uh, outside today working on uh, getting the shed cleaned out. The shed gets real filthy over the summertime. It gets all unorganized and uh, because in the summertime it's a metal building, there's no insulation, it's just so hot in there. You go in there and grab what you got to get and then you get out because it's so hot. Whether that be the lawnmower, the four-wheeler, my little cart here, whatever it is, you get in there and get it out. But uh, the high today is supposed to be only like 73 degrees. So uh, I decided I'd bust in here and start cleaning this thing out. Uh, so I guess you could call it a little shed update. Uh, I got some pegboard that someone gave me kindly. Uh, they had some extra. They were doing up a whole shop in it. They had some extra. They gave it to me about four months ago. And I finally got some uh, pegboard hooks with some birthday money uh, last week. So, uh, yeah, we're in here. Uh, organizing the shop. I've uh, had my Bluetooth speaker in here. We've been jamming out. All right. Let's see if I can't set you up right there. Uh, what I want to talk about today is, of course, you know, winter's on its way. It's coming. Uh, there we go. So, uh, I'm, when I bought my mobile home, it has what they call, they're not really storm windows, but that's what the mobile home people want to call them. Anyway, they have double windows. Well, when I bought mine, it was a repo. It was missing two or three of the inner windows. So it's usually not quite this time of year, but probably next month sometime, I will be taping up where the inner window is supposed to be and putting some plastic over it. So winter preps, uh, prepping your house for winter time, kind of what I'm going to talk about today. Let me, uh, let me just pick you up here. Get a couple of these. All right. What else can we get here? Uh, this is something I use a lot. Silicone. What we got? Looks like we got a few of these. Anyway, I'll lay them out here just for display. Uh, I didn't do any prep on this video, as you can tell. <laughs> something just fell. And let's see what else we need here. I might could use a caulking gun. Yeah, so these are these are some of the main things I use when prepping my mobile home for winter time. I use a lot of this plastic. Uh, I will usually double or triple this plastic up, y'all. Uh, like if I'm going to do one window, I'll cut out enough to fold it and do three layers of this one mil plastic over each window. Of course, I duct tape it. Around the outside uh, of the mobile home, around your windows, especially on mine because it's old. Uh, you know, you have, uh, you, you get little holes and stuff around the caulking. So, you need stuff to fill those holes up with. You know, any way you can keep cold air out of your home is is going to save you a little bit in the long run. So uh, that's what I was wanting to talk to you about today. Make sure you have some of this stuff, you know. Uh, make sure you have plenty of duct tape, uh, you know, some silicone. Uh, they make this stuff in thicker, uh, I think they make it in four mil or three mil, but it's a little more expensive. I just use this and, you know, triple it up and it works just fine. Uh, so yeah, that's what kind of was what I was wanting to talk about today. Plus, we'll do a little shop update. I'm loving my pegboard. I'm loving uh, that my tools are right here where I need them. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to get the uh, the shed or my shop, whatever you want to call it, 
trying to get it a little bit more organized. It gets really dusty in here when I run these saws or when I run this chop saw. Uh, so, you know, it gets really, really dusty in here. Hence the dust mass hanging over yonder. So, uh, I got everything, or just about everything, out of here today. And uh, cranked up the air compressor and blew it all out. Swept it out, blew it out. And uh, trying to get some stuff organized here. Where I can move around in here a little bit better. Uh, so, yeah. This, some of this stuff here is just stuff I found on the side of the road. Toyota center cap. <laughs> something came off the Ford truck or something. Over here is my little survival area. This is my this is my other little bag that I had. I kept it. Uh, as you can see, there's a bottle with it. So I've got some extra survival stuff in here for my family or whoever. It's my hatchet. Bungee cords. You can't ever have enough bungee cords. These are tent stakes right here. Uh, this is a ginormous tarp. I stuck it in an old sleeping bag thing that I had. I made this out of an old pair of blue jeans, a rain fly for my tent, since it wouldn't fit back in the tent container over there. They never do fit back in there, y'all. So we got some garden tools, and this is all survival stuff for the fam that I've got collected up for them. But, uh, yeah. Trying to get the shop straightened out today. Oh, I was going to, uh... Another thing to add to this list right here, y'all, I just have thought about it. It seems like I've got some somewhere. Uh, that's all paint. Anyway, the spray, the expanded foam, is another good thing to have uh, for like around the inside of your windows. If you have uh, stuff around the inside of your windows that's going bad, rotting out or whatever, you can spray that expanded foam in there and it will definitely help. So, I don't have any of that to show you, but that's another thing. Uh, I used my last can of it probably about two weeks ago. So, uh, you know, uh, be getting your home ready for wintertime. Every little hole, every little crack you can close up, uh, you know, it's going to help. And, like, I've got two or three of those inner storm windows uh, that are missing in my mobile home. And uh, so I always cover those up with plastic. Uh, two layers is better than one, you know. But uh, it is raining, apparently. Uh, so, anyhow, short video today. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, so, yeah. Apparently, I had a, it got hot in here, and apparently I had some paint leak out. Didn't know that. So, let me set you back over here. Uh, remember to give us a like and uh, like on the channel. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit the little notification bell. Hey, it all helps. Or oh, thumbs are down if that's what you think. I, I understand. Uh, so yeah, these are some things I want to talk about today. I'm getting in the mood. It's still a little bit early for Alabama, but I will be utilizing this stuff right here. And getting my mobile home ready for winter time. Of course, I've already got my alternative heat source, which is the number one thing you should you should have is you know you should have heat without having power. So that's the main thing for me. Uh, so anyhow, appreciate y'all watching. We're just keeping around in the old shed today, trying to get it a little bit more organized and. Uh, it's, you know, even though it's the high today is only supposed to be like 76 because of the rain. Still very humid in here. I'm sweating profusely. So, uh, <laughs> it's hot. So anyhow, uh, remember not to render evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 21. And, uh, appreciate y'all watching. This is Farmer Son Prepping, uh, working in the shed today. Stop.